Okay, Devar Malchus, page 217, a blessing by the Rebbe Shlita after receiving a collective pawn request for blessing, Erev Rosh Hashanah 5752. This year is dedicated to the Rafula Shalema of Ariel David Ben Simcha. Regarding the matters of judgment in the Torah, which are especially pertinent in the days which are called days of din, judgment, stating from the day of judgment of Rosh Hashanah, there is also a pas din ruling from Hashem in the Torah that the judgment must be in a manner and the jury shall judge and the jury shall save, meaning that the entire judgment is only in order that there should be a greater addition in and they shall save to the extent of the ultimate perfection of <coughs> and they shall save in the true and complete redemption as explained below in chapter 3, as it is written in the Tur as a ruling, although he brings it from the Midrash on the verse, who is a great nation who has Hashem close to them, which nation is like this nation who knows the character of their God? For the way of the world is that when one, when a person has to be judged in court, he does not know his judgment will come out. However, the Jewish people are not like this. They wear white clothes and wrap themselves in white and eat and drink and rejoice on Rosh Hashanah because they know that Hashem will make a miracle for them. And he moves their judgment to the side of merit and tears their harsh decrees of judgment, meaning the Jewish people are such a nation that their nature is to their day-to-day -day conduct, even in a time of exile, is that even before there is an actual ruling, they already know with certainty that the judgment will be materious, and the jury shall save, to the extent that the certainty is expressed and affects a change in their clothing, foods, and drink on Rosh Hashanah, eating fatty foods and drink sweet drinks, and in addition, this concept is also emphasized. In the Parsha of the week of the Shabbos, from which Rosh Hashanah is blessed, Parsha Netzvim, you are standing, Netzvim, today, all of you, before Hashem your God, refers to the Jewish people, all ten levels, with the Jewish people as they are listed in the continuation of the verse, and within every single Jew and Jewish individual, corresponds to the ten sephiroth, that they exist in a revealed way within every single Jew and Jewish, as a soul within a body, as they stand on the day of judgment of Rosh Hashanah today, for although it is the day of judgment, they stand in a matter of netzvim, standing, existing and standing, meaning they win in the judgment, and the jury shall save. And may we say that this is also connected to the explanation of netzvim standing as an idiom, netzvim mela, a king stands among, that every single Jew and Jewish stands on Rosh Hashanah like a king, a king over all the existence around him to the extent of being a king over the entire order of the grandation, gradational descent of the revelation of Hashem, for every single Jew and Jewish in the state that he is in is a king. He receives from the king of kings, Hashem, whom we crown in Rosh Hashanah, crown me over you. And as the above for munchen, and as the above mentioned ruling of the Tur, that the Jewish people know from the onset they, they will win the judgment because they are a great nation who has Hashem close to them and therefore they know the character of their God, and they are at the level of a king. <coughs> and therefore, they receive through receiving from all the kings of kings, Hashem, all the revelations and bestowing of bounty as a king gets them without any effort on his part. And on the contrary, it's forbidden for a king to do work when one of the people in the kingdom can do it for him. How much more so when it is in, in the presence of a vast nation, for with a vast nation of king is glorified. <coughs> the main and ultimate of the jury shall save in the salvation from the present state of exile in the true and complete redemption because even those who have also now in exile abundant spiritual livelihood and abundant physical livelihood and even those who are in the holy land and on a holy mountain and there itself in the closest place to the site of the holy of holies however they too they however they too say there because of our sins, we were exiled from our land, because we do not yet have a sanctuary that Hashem, your hands established, and it is still not a state of in it, all its inhabitants upon it, that specifically they, then all matters exist in an ultimate perfection, including the mitzvah of the Jubilee year, which is especially connected to emancipation and redemption, as it says, and each man will return to his property, and each man will return to his family in the Jubilee year, even even one who says, I love my master and does not go out in the seventh year. And may we say that the connection of the day of judgment to Rosh Hashanah, the day of judgment of Rosh Hashanah to the redemption and the jury shall save is emphasized also in the fact that in Rosh Hashanah, it is the service of accepting Hashem's kingship to fulfill Hashem's request, 
Crown me over yourselves, as the Gomorrah says in the Babylonian Talmud, which is connected to the exile in places of darkness he placed me. And Hashem's kingship is connected to all its all is connected to and is revealed in the ultimate perfection through the King Mashiach, exemplifier of King David, whose primary aspect of the Sephirot of Malchus, whose primary aspect is the Sephirot of Malchus kingship. And from this, it is understood that we stand now in the last moments before the redemption, according to all signs, as mentioned above, the judgment in these days, the day of judgment, must bring about the ultimate of, and they shall say, the true and complete redemption, and literally immediately, <coughs> without getting into discussion on this, there is no time for this because we have already gone to greet the true and complete redemption and the King Mashiach, the exemplifier of King David, and my revered father-in-law, the Rebbe, at our head, and therefore it is understood that every moment earlier that we finish the matters that are before this, the true and complete redemption will come a moment earlier. They shall save on Rosh Hashanah to the redemption is emphasized also on the Parsha of the week, Parshas Vela, which comes in continuation to Parshas Netzavim. When we stand, standing strong before Hashem your God, in a way of King standing strong, as mentioned above in chapter 2, the Jewish people have the power that immediately afterward they will have Vela. And he went, first and foremost, the going from exile to redemption, which includes the going of the lands of the exile to the land of redemption, the land of Israel, and especially as it immediately becomes in a state of all its inhabitants upon it and afterward in the redemption itself. And he went, they shall go from the strength to strength to the extent of appearing before Hashem and Sion. And today my days and years were fulfilled as Moshe's words in continuation to and Moshe went is accomplished for every single Jew and Jewish that every single Jew and Jewish has the day and years to fulfill the Torah mitzvahs and he receives the power from the fact that Moshe had it like this. And from this it is dawn, drawn into every single Jew and Jewish from the aspect of Moshe within him that affects him, including in action. As the Alter Rebbe explains in Tanya, and with additional explanation from the Salmic Sedek, the third Lubavitcher Rebbe, the above-mentioned connection to the Day of Judgment, Rosh Hashanah, to and the jury shall save, including the, and mainly the redemption, begins already on Arab, the day ushering in Rosh Hashanah for an Arab and preparation <coughs> is similar to the thing that it became prepared for. And how much more so regularly, Arab Rosh Hashanah, when there is already and the jury shall save on Rosh Hashanah as the above mentioned ruling of the Tur, and already on Arab Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish people know that they will win the judgment. And then they already begin the preparation for Rosh Hashanah and know it is that Shabbos and Yom Tov need a special preparation. How much more so the preparation of Arab Rosh Hashanah for Rosh Hashanah, we expect all the days of the year, like a head, which influences all parts of the body. And maybe we say that the connection of Arab Rosh Hashanah to the redemption, winning the judgment, was revealed more in the recent generations through the birthday of the Tzalmach Sedek on this day in the year 50, 5549. The name of the Tzalmach Sedek, as he was called <coughs> by the name of his Torah book, as the name of Mashiach, who is called Tzalmach and is called Sedek. And to those regarding the connection of the Tzalmach Sedek, who is Menachem Mendel, to Moshiach, the Samic Sedek, the third leader of the leader of Chabad, includes within him all the leaders, as we see in the Torah teachings, which include the Torah teachings of all the leaders before him, and also the leaders after him, including also my revered father-in-law, the Rebbe, leader of our generation, and being that the Rebbe's of our leaders, and the whole concept of the re revelation of the inner part of the Torah, and spreading the wellsprings outward through the Rebbe's, are connected to the revelation of Mashiach, and especially my revered father-in-law, the Rebbe, leader of our generation, as, a, as is alluded to the name Yosef Yitzhak, an idiom for Hashem will Yosef add his hand again. <coughs> Therefore, it's understood that this and the connection of the Rebbe to Mashiach is emphasized in the Salmak Sedek, who includes all the leaders. And from this, it is understood that on the birthday of the Salmak Sedek, on Erev Rosh Hashanah, when this, his model is the strongest, the concept of the name of Mashiach is the strongest, and the one whose birthday it is does everything that depends on him, and automatically it certainly accomplishes its effects. <coughs> that there should be the revelation of the name Mashiach, and moreover the revelation of Mashiach himself, as he is higher and higher than his name. Similar to how it is regarded the soul, which is called by five names, Nefesh, Ruach, Nesha, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, including the fifth name, Yehida, includes the essence of the soul, it is called by five names. Similarly, we may say regarding Mashiach, 
that in addition to the revelation of the name of Mashiach, including how it is connected to Yehida, since Mashiach is the collective of Yehida, <coughs> there is also the essence of Mashiach, which is also one thing with the essence of the infinite aspects of Hashem, namely the transcendent aspect of Hashem kingship. And therefore, the revelation of the Mashiach on Arab Rosh Hashanah is connected to the aspect as aspecting Hashem's kingship on Rosh Hashanah as mentioned above and to the revelation of the concept of kingship a king stands strong within every Jew and Jewish as understood also from the ruling of the Torah regarding Arab Rosh Hashanah as mentioned above and note that the Torah is the basis of the base Yosef which is also the basis of the Shulchan Aruch of the base Yosef which is the basis of the Shulchan Aruch of the Alter Rebbe which there are several responses and explanations of the Psalm of Sedeq. That is the Beis Yosef Shulchan Aruch and then Harav Shulchan Aruch, the edited version by the Alter Rebbe. And may we connect this to the concept of En Moshe when the going of the exile to the redemption as mentioned above in chapter 4 according to what has been spoken re recently about the acronym which is especially relevant to Chabad Hasidim and through them to the whole Jewish people in all the generations of the Mead immediately, immediately that they are redeemed. Moshe, Yisrael, the Baal Shem Tov, David, ancestor of King Mashiach, all three, Mashiach, Yisrael, and Baal Shem Tov, and the King Mashiach, the exemplifier of David, are connected to immediately they are redeemed. Moshe is the first redeemer and his soul is the last redeemer. Yisrael, the Baal Shem Tov, as the answer of the Mashiach to his question, when is the master Mashiach coming? When your wellsprings of the Baal Shem Tov will be spread outward. And the King Mashiach, the young exemplifier of King David, through whom the true and complete redemption actually comes. And in the word, Mirid, immediately, all three are together in one single word. And in the word, which means immediately, in one single moment, this shows that all three are one single point, the point of redemption immediately. <coughs> and the point is divided into the three details, and specifically in the order of Moshe Yisrael, the Baal Shem Tov, and David, the ancestor of King Mashiach, the power of the redemption, comes from, Mashiach, from Moshe, the first redeemer, whose soul is the last redeemer. And Moshe received the Torah and passed it down, which includes all the entire Torah, everything that a wise student will innovate, including all the revelations, the inner part of the Torah, in a way of spreading the wellsprings outward through the Baal Shem Tov, through which the master comes, the King Mashiach, the exemplifier of David. And in more detail, Moshe and David, the ancestor of King David, are the first and the last, the first redeemer whose soul is in the last redeemer, and between them there is a letter Yud, which stands for Yisrael, the Baal Shem Tov, which alludes to the essential point of Jewish, Pintile Yid, as it exists in the revealed way to the extent that it receives the shape of a letter Yud, and even more so specifically the Yud in which connects the two letters Mem and Dalit, <coughs> which are wide and extended incomparably to more than the Yud, because the essential point of Jewishness connects to Hashem himself, and therefore the Jew stands in a state of a king standing strong, as mentioned above, and Ve'elah going, and specifically he has the power to bring the first redeemer, whose soul is in the last redeemer, Moshiach, and the king Moshiach, the exemplifier of David. And the power for the revelation of the Yud, and the essential point of Jewishness, the level of Yehida in the soul, the spark of Mashiach that is in within every single Jew to the extent of the essence of the soul in a Jew comes specific, comes especially through Yisrael, the Baal Shem Tov, through the revelation of Hasidic teachings, which refer in general to the Hasidic teachings of our Rebbe's, our leaders, which is connected to the Mashiach. And especially this is in a revealed way in the Salmon Tzedek, who includes all the Rebbe's, our leaders, as mentioned above. The above-mentioned connection of Erev Rosh Hashanah to the redemption is more emphasized on Erev Rosh Hashanah in a calendar set up of this year, both in the days of the week that it is on the first day of the week, Sunday, as well as in the year in general, the year 5752. When Erev Rosh Hashanah <coughs> occurs on the first day of the week, then it is because two auspicious days between the day of Shabbos and Rosh Hashanah, and according to the known fact that all matters of holiness are precise, it is understood that in the day of Arab Rosh Hashanah has the power to connect the two extremes of Shabbos and Rosh Hashanah. Shabbos is the Shabbos was sanctified by Hashem and endures as so from above, whereas Rosh Hashanah is sanctified by the Jewish people, the Jewish people who sanctify the times, and through the day of Arab Rosh Hashanah between them, the two aspects are connected, that the holiness of Shabbos, which transcends all the world, Shabbos was sanctified and endures 
as so from above, is drawn down as it is on the high level into Rosh Hashanah and similar. Other ways it's revealed how every single Jewish people is a master, being that he is on a level of king, as I mentioned above, over the Shabbos, affecting the Shabbos sanctity in it with Kaddish, etc. And even how every single Jew and Jewish becomes a matter over the bringing of the day that is Shabbos for the rest of everlasting. And in a more detail, the calendar setup of this year, there is an advantage that Rosh Hashanah occurs within the consecutive sequence of the three-day special day, one after another. The Holy Shabbos day <coughs> is connected to the day that is all Shabbos, the rest for everlasting. Erev Rosh Hashanah on the first day of the week, which is called the Torah, one day, and because Hashem was alone in this world, in His world, and his, this idea of the first day of creation re repeats itself on every Sunday as we see in the song of the day, then there we say, the earth and all that fills it belongs to Hashem. And with a special emphasis when Sunday is, in the, is the day ushering in Rosh Hashanah, this day Rosh Hashanah is beginning to your work, a remembrance of the first day. Rosh Hashanah is on the second day of the week, Monday, on which disagreement was created, disagreement in a positive sense, a disagreement for the sake of heaven, like the disagreements of Shammai and Hela, which will ultimately endure both the advantage of Shammai Gavorah Verity as well as the advantage of Hillel Chassid Kindness and the jury shall judge Judge Gavorah and the jury shall save Hasid Kindness through a power that transcends both which unites them the power of Moshe an acronym for Moshe Shammai Hillel who is the first redeemer and his soul is in the last redeemer which it is in a, which is in addition to the trifold advantage of the new year, a perfect year, a leap year, a complete year, Cheshvan and Kislev, full months, and perfection in the completeness of seven complete weeks as spoken about above. The acronym of the Hebrew letters representing the number of 5752 was set by the Jewish people to be, it will surely be a year of wonders and everything. Wonders and everything means simply that there will be, it will surely be, denoted a promise, command and empowerment. <sighs> <coughs> wonders on every everything in everything on the year and this is accomplished through the true and complete redemption coming literally immediately which then there will be wonders in everything and the explanation of this but call in everything denotes the ultimate perfection of the blessing including the perfection of the true and complete revelation as our sages say three the three hashem gave to them to taste in the world a foretaste of the world to come they are avram yitzhak and yaakov avram as it says regarding him, Bakol Yitzhak, as it says regarding him, Mikol Yaakov, as it says regarding him, Kol, in other words, Bakol is connected to the perfection of the world to come, the true and complete redemption, which then we will have everything, everything in perfection. And in the source of things, everything denotes the five Sephiroth, which include all the Sephiroth from Chesed kindness to Hod glory. And, there are, and they are complete each one including 10, and this is the numerical value of coal everything 50. And with everything from everything, everything, this is the completeness of coal everything. Redemption is drawn down into all three realms corresponding to the three forefathers, which includes all the details. And because every Jew, man, woman, and children, is an heir of each of the three forefathers and all of them together, and every Jew has within him aspects of the three forefathers, it is understood that every single Jew receives literally in everything from everything, everything, as everyone says at the end of the blessing of their meals, and he blessed our, and he blessed our forefathers, Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, in everything, from everything, everything, so may he bless all of us together with a complete blessing. <coughs> and literally, that every single Jew and Jewish receives in everything, from everything, everything spiritually, and in everything, from everything, everything physically, with all the meaning of it, starting from the main meaning that already in the last moments of exile, every Jew will have in everything, from everything, everything, that all his matters will be in the best and most perfect way. They did not lack anything good, and also, the ma and mainly, that this brings immediately the ultimate perfection of in everything, from everything, everything, the true and complete redemption, and literally physically fitting the blessing of after meals of the Jewish people, in which we request in everything, from everything, everything, and you shall eat and be satisfied. And the blessing, Hashem your God, for the good land he gave you, that we receive the land in, er in Israel literally, and immediately in a way of inheriting and conquering and dividing the land. <coughs> and all the Jewish people are there, everyone, 
under his vine and under his fig tree in a true and complete redemption. And in a way, this is also affects the past, that although this actual moment, Mashiach has still not come, however, when he comes in the next moment, he will change through the bringing of the Aleph, the, or the al, of the Aluf master of the world, also the moments before this of the Gula exile, or the Gola exile into a part of Gula. And in conclusion, we stand on this auspicious day of Ere of Rosh Hashanah, 5752, it will truly be in the year of wonders in everything, which is also the birthday of the Tzamek Sedek, and in the end of the conclusion of the month of Elo, acronym for I am my beloved and my beloved is for me, and all the five acronyms of Elo, corresponding to the three realms of the pillars of Torah, service and acts of kindness, tshuva and redemption. It is certainly that since we stand here in a state of my beloved is for me, Hashem's Hashem blesses every single Jew and the whole Jewish people already in the month of Elul, in everything from everything from his full, open, holy and wide hand, both spiritually and physically, as well as in both of them together, in the extent of it being in a manner that they become one essence. And according to the above mentioned ruling of the Torah that already on the Arab Rosh Hashanah and the Jewish people wear white and wrap themselves in white, it is understood that already on Arab Rosh Hashanah we receive already the beginning of all the revelations and light, and most certainly all the powers, both spiritually and physically, and also, and mainly, and literally, immediately, mirrored on this era of Rosh Hashanah, the birthday of the Islamic Sedek, Moshe is revealed in a way of pointing with one's finger and saying this, here is Mashiach, as he is called Sama, here is Mashiach, <coughs> as he is called Sedek, here is Mashiach, as he is called Yosef Yitzhak, the name of my revered father-in-law, the Rebbe leader of our generation, and also mainly here is Mashiach, and he is called the King of Mashiach, the exemplifier of David. Together with Mashiach, our leader, the first redeemer whose soul is in the last redeemer, together with Yisrael the Baal Shemto, and with all our rabbis and leaders, and in the manner of Mirid immediately, as mentioned above, literally immediately, and simply that every Jew will go the Eila, from the exile into the true and complete redemption through Mashiach, below ten handbreaks, handbreaks, and all the Jewish people will go ve'ela with our young and with our old, with our sons and with our daughters. Immediately, they will fly with the clouds of the sky, to the Holy Land, and celebrate Rosh Hashanah there, and there itself in Jerusalem, the Holy City, <coughs> on the Holy Mountain, in the third trifle, the base of Migdash, a sanctuary that Hashem, your hands establish, and there itself in the Holy of Holies, in which there is a foundation stone, from which the world was founded, the foundation stone that exists in the completeness, and it is revealed in a way that also, in, it, in this time, without changes in the place of the Holy of Holies, in the base of Migdash, and therefore it strengthens, and claim and, de claim and demand of the Jewish people about the redemption, claiming that we, already, that we are already see claiming that we already see the foundation stone now in a revealed way in this physical world, the foundation stone which is the foundation of this entire world even now because it has remained complete with no changes in its place. And together with the third base of Migdash, there is a fulfillment of on the third day we will raise up and we will live before him, true and eternal life, starting with the life in its literal sense, a good inscription and sealing for every Jew and Jewish with literally life, a healthy body and a healthy soul, both physically and spiritually, and literally, immediately, all this moves to the Holy Land, to Jerusalem, the Holy City, to the Holy Mountain, to the third base of Migdash, in third redemption also, which also includes the tenth redemption, a redemption with no exile after it, as we say also in the Pesach Seder, for as the days when you left Egypt, I will show them wonders in the future redemption. Moreover, and mainly, literally, immediately, and especially since we are standing on an auspicious day of Arab Rosh Hashanah with all its advantages, and especially since every single person will certainly utilize this day to add in manners of tzedakah and several good manners, and especially in the relevant matter of time, the birthday of the Islamic Sedek, through the learning of his Torah teaching and fulfilling his directives. And as said above, on this day itself, the true and complete redemption through Mashiach should come literally Immediately, the seven seven Torah may you be inscribed to the book of life.